Hello, good morning. You just caught me enjoying my breakfast at 7am. Contemplating why it's been so long since I last did League of Fire Challenge or anything for YouTube at all. That's when it struck me that I still haven't done the real one chip challenge, the famous one. Uh, not the bootleg one that you might remember me doing previously that was quite uh, lacking in, well, challenge, really. make up for that. So the one chip challenge, I don't know how to pronounce that and I don't want to attempt it for obvious reasons of what it looks like it might sound like. Um, it's infused with Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Peppers. Inside one extremely hot tortilla chip. This chip will destroy you apparently. Uh, here's the warning on the back. Do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy food, allergic to peppers, nightshade, or capsaicin, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Keep out of reach of children. After touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes over the sensitive areas. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. Well, it sounds like something where I'll need to put safety first with my Trademark safety helmet, which I use for these challenges. Now adorned with a special Chili of the Valley sticker. After a recent purchase of some of their delicious sauces, you should go and check them out. Right. This challenge is very straightforward. There's no burn times or eating times. It's simply eat it and that's it. You've, you've got the point. Um, but that makes me worry about how hot this thing actually is because if that's all you've got to do show the act of eating it itself can't be that easy or the burn is so intense that they don't even make you wait for a while although I'm not going to have any relief no milk, no, no sugar or ice cream or even my breakfast kind of Stella will be uh, sitting by the sideline and waiting until I've experience the burn properly. By the way, first comments um, on the packaging, it's really cool. It looks really good, I think. It's uh, really considerately packaged. And on the inside, it looks really, whoa, it looks really good too. <laughs> so there's a nice little uh, infographic, a mock infographic on, on the inside of the coffin. One Ship Challenge 2021. Oh yeah, I must point out this is a new updated edition for this year. I don't know what they've changed. Maybe it will say within this little leaflet. What to expect. Made with Carolina Reaper peppers and scorpion peppers. This straight from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Round 1. Spicy Punch. Round 2. Scorpion Sting. Round three, vision disruptor. Round four, gut slash. Round five, roasted. So rules for the challenge. Eat the entire chip and wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Um, yeah, so that's how we're gonna do it. Let's have a look at this leaf first. save that for uh, when I've actually done it. The chip is contained within this. How do I open this without breaking it? Oh my god, that does look pretty brutal. Never seen a, such a dark tortilla chip. 
Oh, it's broken already. I guess we're gonna have to do this in two pieces or I can just hold it together. Like so. Yeah, good as new. Yeah. Cheers. Let's uh, see what this is like. It is hot, but it's well, it's getting worse now. Yeah, start to sting the inside of the mouth quite intensely and I think it's because I've started talking as well. It was just worse when I talk. But you don't want just dead air the whole time, do you? You want me to describe the pain that I'm going through. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I could see how if this was like the first ever League Fire Challenge, it could definitely hit you. As for me, it's the easiest by far. Probably why it's only worth one point. <sighs> but for like a novice chili eater, this would still absolutely kick your ass. <sighs> My eyes are watering. I'm not sweating yet, but I do feel really hot. Like I'm sweating up here, but that's probably partly because of the. It is really hot. But yeah, compared to like the V2, the Moab, Brownie, not as bad at all. How long am I going for? really watering my nose I'm gonna go and get a tissue but it could look like I'm gonna go and sneak some milk or ice cream or something so I'm probably just gonna leave that Ugh. then it's getting much easier it's subsidizing now side of my face is tingling a bit which is normal that happens on most of the challenges I think <sighs> I 
No. Not bad breakfast, eh? Finish my night shift. Come straight home on an empty stomach. Start drinking my Stella. And then have a single tortilla chip infused with Carolina Reapers. And scorpion peppers. Yeah. Healthy, balanced breakfast. Take it from me. That's all you need in the morning to start the day, or in my case, as a night shift worker, finish the day. Oh, it's making my nose run really badly now. Not bad at all to say I haven't eaten anything really, really hot in a long time, actually. It's been like five months since my last challenge. And since then, I've not really been punishing myself with ridiculously hot foods, to be honest with you. So, this is probably a good first one back, first challenge back. So, yeah. Not really bad at all. Um, I'd say that if you want to make your debut on the League of Fire, go for this one. Don't do what I did and go for the V2 chill challenge, which was just mental. Uh, this would be a good entry one for you, I think. But I think now that the birds must subsidized, subsided, I can hold up this and call it a wrap because it's not burning anymore. It's telling me something like, it burned for an hour or something, but it's the point, it's not even burning anymore. As you can probably tell by the way I'm speaking now. Flavour wise for the for the chip, you can't really taste anything, just you know. It's got a nice crunch to it, I guess. It's like a proper tortilla chip. But flavour wise there is really none. It's just pure heat. Um this is a good challenge, a good little challenge. I definitely recommend this is your first League of Fire challenge. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some proper food down there once I've finished this can. That's it from me. Like and comment, please. That really goes a long way in helping me um, push the video in the YouTube algorithm. As somebody with, like, two consistent viewers, I'm really trying to grow my channel even just to get in a couple thousand views or whatever i'm going to be a bit more consistent with my uploads there's another challenge coming soon and then now the world's opening back up i can finally hopefully soon start my travel vlogs which which is obviously something a lot different but it's something that i've really wanted to do for a while with this platform these challenges are fun but what my real drive is to to do travel vlogs anyway like and comment, please. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you. See you later.